Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? It is Selena here at Amore Fabrics. If you are new here, I hope you like this channel. And if you do, don't forget to thumbs up, like, obviously subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see uh, what's new or what uh, what I'm showing. So as you guys can see here, I'm finally sharing Madeline's shop. For those who seen the Mother's Day video that I did, um, showing some amazing women that I find that um, are crazy talented and giving their hearts are full of giving and um, that I wanted to support and show. So I finally am doing the Madeline <laughs> gift unboxing. Um, I would say gift because these are a lot of the gifts. I had purchased this journal from her website and um, she has a um, not only she's on social media all lower, um, but down below I put all her direct links. Um, she has an Etsy shop um, as well, so I'll make sure that's down there for you. She does journal supplies, journals, um, and a bunch of different things that are unique and different, um, and I love her shop. So obviously I love it enough to purchase from her shop. She wrapped this absolutely beautifully. I can't wait to open it up. Then I wanted to uh, give her the entire video. So I hope you guys' this weekend was amazing. Mine was. I held off on this a little bit longer than I wanted to. I took some time off and went to the beach. I live there off the Gulf here in Florida, near Pensacola, uh, Port Walton, Destin, Navarre. I'm right there, like 10, 15 minutes from all that. And um, and I live here, and I rarely get the chance to go. And I love the paddleboard, so I took a few days off to do that and enjoy that before I jump right back into work. But here it is. I'm finally able to show you guys what um, that uh, she had sent me. So I'm, like, I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to open this up and then turn the video back on. Okay, here it is. Wow, that wrapping was really cool. She did a really good job wrapping it. And I uh, got myself a coffee too. Oh my goodness. I just feel like I'm low on energy this morning. Even though I took all those vitamins and been taking this really cool collagen and it's just uh even though I do all that right stuff there's a certain mornings I think it's because of paddleboarding because um a lot of the paddleboarding I did um was on really uh choppy water it wasn't as calm I didn't go on the bay side I went on the golf side so my legs and my arms feel like noodles and um I think it's just either I need to hydrate which I shouldn't be drinking coffee but I am because I love coffee <laughs> But um, it really took a toll on my legs, um, and uh, I really feel like I am I could do this. So enough of me, but back to this. So I had purchased her journal. This journal just jumped out at me. My daughter and I are going, every year we do a girl's trip. Uh, my daughter is 21. But um, this year she chose Canada, and um, I live, like I said, down in Florida in the Gulf. My daughter lives up in Indiana, so I'm going to fly out to her. Um, and then we're just going to drive into Canada and see the Niagara Falls on the Canadian side and then stay in Toronto for most of the time on a sky rise. They're in the middle of the city. It's just going to be amazing. Anyways, I thought this journal is going to be perfect for that. Um, and uh, so it's going to be a fun trip. And usually I take off two weeks, guys. Two weeks is a long time for me to be for away from work, but I do it once a year. So you guys will know when that happens. That's going to be in September this year. So this journal is what that is for us uh, gypsy girls um and this is perfect look at that boho bead wow absolutely i don't remember knowing that that i purchased this with this i think she might have added this madeline comment below let me know i think you added this this is gorgeous i don't remember that being on there it's just beautiful but this is what was on top and looks like some kind of digital print um that maybe it's something that she did and it looks like she stitched it on here. And I think it, yep, it is. I think it's a pocket. I think it is. No, it's just sewn around. It's just beautiful. I think it's sewn around. Or it's just deceiving me that it's a digital. I don't know. Kind of a long metal and I'm confused. It's beautiful, but it almost feels like I want to open it and it, and it's a paper, like a paper page. Just beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, and then a card. which she left blank, which is nice because she can, you can put it into your journal and add to it as you like. I'll show you the little doodads. This other stuff is extra. She puts a lot of extras in her things, uh, which I think is amazing. I think as a shop owner, the give is so important to give extra. I mean, there's always extra on hand and your customer just loves it and they'll come back for more. 
it's the thought that counts. This here I, I noticed first, which I thought was really cool. I think she was making snippets, and I think she sells snippets, um, like rolls and stuff in her shop. But this came in here, and I imagine originally it's for a pocket. The sides looks like it's a pocket, you know, I would imagine. If not, I thought this would be an amazing, cute little pocket journal that you can make for your purse. But then there's this cute envelope and I was already thinking in my head what I can do. I could probably sew that on there, make that come around and I could make it cut this here and I could have two side pockets and have a journal in the middle. Um, that is really cool. So she puts all this extra stuff in here that makes you think. Yeah, here's that again. I could totally do that. Makes me Today I'm also um, filming, which will be in a few days for you guys to see how to make that um, journal I made for my mom, that prayer journal. If you're new here, down below, you'll see the video. I think it's a, a few episodes before this or something. But uh, um, when I'm doing that, I will mess with this, guys, and see what happens here. I think there's something in there. Yeah, there is. She has something in there. A note from the designer. So it looks like she has talks about how she creates it and how she adds different memorabilia and stuff for you um, to help. Obviously, that's awesome, Madeline. That's really cool. So there's that. I'm going to put that aside. But then in that one little packet, look at it. How cute. All these cute things I can add to this journal. And how thoughtful, right? I feel inspired for sure. That is beautiful. And then that's my receipt. And she probably wrote a letter on there. Yep. It's so cute. Uh, those who call me Lena, because my name is Selena. I'm sure you guys get, some people probably confuse. It's Selena or is it Lena? And uh, <laughs> it's Selena, but a lot of people call me Lena, especially my family. Um, and I like either one. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, thank you. Thank you, Madeline. But I had paid $79 for the journal, and you'll know why. Um, did I get shipping free? No, I paid shipping. Uh, nope. That's right. I got free shipping. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. So she does give you free shipping over $35. And uh, so let me dig right into that. So you got that. I want, I'm so excited to show you this. But look at it. She just kept going. Look at here. More and more things. I mean, it is you, when you pay the $79, it is worth every penny. A little tassel. And that's like a little ball with like little, like a shaky thing. How cool is that? And then it came with this. It says, it's the journal, not the end goal that is important. Emma Watson, that's a good quote. And this here, I love how she did done the, uh, the spine. Another little, like a cute, oh, it's an envelope. Oh, how cool. It's like two envelopes. And they're together. Oh, how neat is that? I'm sure there's a name or terminology for that. There's like little things inside the little pockets too. All right, I'm sure you guys will be like, Selena, that is that kind of journal. And I'll be like, oh, so down below, comment. That is really cute. That is so cute. All right, and then this. Oh my gosh, it just keeps the gift that keeps giving. That'd be cute to put into a journal. Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I haven't even hit the journal. Please, guys, get a chance, you know, pause the video, what have you. Look at washi tape. That is so cute. Lace. Look at this. Everything, look at, everything would match this. And this cute little packet would, look at, it would really go well with this journal. How cute. Look, we have Time Saver stamp, like a cluster. That's right. You guys be proud of me. I think that's called a cluster, right? Um, and she had layered that. How cute. Time saver stamp. Nice. All this stuff will definitely be great in this journal. I'll definitely have to keep this, take this with me in my, uh, my suitcase. And on the flight, I can get started with some of it. Look at that piece of lace. Like an applique lace. Isn't that pretty? That'd be a pretty deck too. Um, let's see here. Well, another cluster. I think that's a cluster. If I'm wrong, please let me know, guys. I like to learn and understand. Look at that. Oh my. That is gorgeous. It almost looks like that is 
a different language. Oh, that's, that's really cool. There, a little ball ring and a little key charm on that. It's like she maj paj and sewn on that little tag. Adorable. Thank you, Madeline. You just like spoiled me rotten here. What am I missing? I feel like I miss. Oh, yep. There's this pocket. And then this pocket. Look at the oh, Lord. That is so cool, isn't it? She just took a paper and just sewn at the bottom with some lace and made it like an envelope. And, and it, oh wait, ah, now I know what this is. This is, this is something she had created and she has them in her shop. Now you guys totally have to go on over there. Look at these. She took lace, buttons, clustered them together. It looks like she used like little scraps and snippets. Look at these. Oh, wow, not too close. Oh, my speakers. Well, last time I did the video, the speaker was too close and I felt like I was screaming in your ears. Look how cute is that? So I know she sells these in the shop, her shop. I think there's some left, unless they sold out. I know a lot of people had them in their carts. And um, seems like things sell really fast in her shop. So when you go over there, you need to, if you see, you better grab it. Because honestly, it won't be there. And uh, she's got a good thing going on. And I'm ever so proud of her. That's so cute. Definitely have to use that in the journal, along with that string. All right, I'm going to keep every little bit and bob. You guys have taught me that. Look at this. This is a wallpaper. Oh, my. Like a vintage wallpaper. You guys know me. Anything vintage always tickles my fancy. I absolutely love vintage. It's like a little notepad. How smart is that, Madeline? That is too cute. I love that. That's definitely got to go in there. Little notes from the trips. Or I can probably put the receipts and things and put them on there and put little notes. That's cute. A little tag. All right, guys. Let me make some room on this table. Thank you, Madeline. Oh, there's another thing she sells. She sells um, vintage ribbons and um, different fabrics, yardage, in strips, which is so smart. Look at that. Thank you. I love how she did like a little paper clip and just put a little charm on that. Very sweet. And that is handmade paper. That's like a press paper on there. That's pretty. All right. Move my coffee. I'm going to push stuff aside. I'm definitely going to put all this in a, a bag and take it with me. All right, let's unbox this thing. I seen her flip through on this, and I hope I can give it as much deserved um, showing as she did. But um, she has a, a YouTube channel down below. Hit um, her YouTube channel, and she also has a more in-depth showing of this journal. And she'll, she's the creator, so she describes about this the facing of this journal, why this page and all that. And she'll give you all the details that I'm not going to obviously understand or hit. Um, and maybe you guys take a chance to watch that video as well. But look at this boho bead. I'm not sure she sells boho beads, but look at that. I have big hands. Um, and that is a big bead. And uh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Here's the back. Look at that sparkle. And girl, you guys, gir usually girly stuff. I'm not a huge girly fan. I am more, um, I'm colorful, like the boho style. But uh, this is very girly. My daughter probably like, Mom, that is more girly than you normally would pick. I normally don't go this girly. But this, I don't know. I'm, I love the ocean. Maybe it just remind me of a mermaid. Um, I don't know. It's just, I love her work. I love how she did the, um, the uh, sari trim along the border. It's just very cute, see? And she has all types of styles, not just girly. She has all kinds of boho. Even she does a lot of like the simple, elegant vintage lace kind of things um, as well. Kadashiki, look at that charm. Like a bell charm um, and that kind too. And look at the pages. All those ruffles. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see these. Charms are everywhere. Look at that one. Let's see if I can find. And there's another dangle. The leaf dangle. Oh my goodness, Mal. If I'm not mistaken, isn't it from one of my kits? I had a bunch of leaves in one of the packets. Um, reminds me of it. Oh, look at that sticking out. Just really, just, it's just, I'm in love. <laughs> So it looks like this unclips. Look at that. How cool is that? 
All right, so from the start, look at this. There's a tag that comes straight out, and I figured on here, I'm going to write what the trip is right on here and the date. But look at that. I don't know if she mod paused that or if she layered that. It's really beautiful, smart. I wonder if there's anything more in there. It's almost like you could put a lot more things in there. How cool is that? It's almost like a hidden pocket. Put money in there, huh? <laughs> All right, it just gets better and better. It just, I see pieces in here that she purchased from the shop as well. It's always exciting to see. Um, I know, I, I know when I see items I've touched and I've cut, like I know that for sure. Then she layered all types of things in here that I can use to create little special things. Definitely put little pictures, notes, and things like that. That's a pocket right there. This is so neat how that's pockets layers. There's a pocket there. And there's a pocket right here on the side. It's amazing. That just amazes me, the things you guys make. The the artsiness um, of the, look at that cluster. Corner cluster. I would have thought of that. That is way cool. Graph paper. Everything in here I love. I love the quotes. It says here, enjoy of sadness. Flowers are constant friends. They are. If anyone knows me and follows me, they know I love to garden. I love flowers. I love anything colorful, obviously. Um, look at that. Cute mushroom stamps on there. That is way too cute. Look like that. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that if I get a little closer. And then that just beautiful. Ah, oh, Madeline, you did yourself. I see here we got, look at that corner tab. How cool is that? Who would have thought? Beautiful. See, isn't it really girly, you guys? <laughs> Ooh, it's like a pocket. Here we go. Look at that. Delicate one. I have to be very careful on that one. Maybe I should put like a clear tape-ish across there. Oh, no, I can't do that. It would seal it all the way through, wouldn't it? That is cute, but very delicate. That is cute. Loving how she did the zigzag stitch. Look at that. How lovely. It's just little snippets and scraps, guys. Just absolutely gorgeous. I wonder what that paper she used. Um, it's like a different, like, language. I wonder what that is. Yep, she used all kinds of different fabrics and clustered them up. A lot of beautiful pieces she has in here. That old coffee dye paper. Beautiful. Just, don't you guys think it's just at the, the work she did... A lot of work she put into this. It's not base. It's enough for you to journal, but yet it's so freely enough to um, add your little little creations to. You know, just absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Madeline. Put that there. Okay, just gorgeous. That's like a a satin or like a silky satin. Cute, huh? All this stuff, all this room to put pictures, to journal. Look at that. Lovely. Thank you, Madeline. So you guys, please run over to her shop. She has all kinds of unique things. She does custom orders. Just message her. She's a very friendly, prompt, fast shipping, um, which is a huge thing. And, uh, you know, she's really good about custom orders. It says, cherish your vision, cherish your ideas, cherish your music, cherish that stares in your heart, the beauty that forms in your mind, the loveliness that drapes your, your purest thoughts. If you remain true to them, your world will at least be built. James Allen. That is beautiful. Again, just the thought. I love the cute little leaf charm. Yes, so this has touched my girly side. <laughs> Open up a side of me I didn't know I had, I guess. Just as, oh my gosh, look at that. I don't think Madeline knows this, but my daughter absolutely loves butterflies. Butterflies are her thing. And so this is a huge, very thoughtful piece. I didn't realize that was in there. Maybe I missed it when I watched the video. But that is beautiful, Madeline. Yeah, my daughter is a huge butterfly, butterfly fan. That is so cool. Look at that pocket. How she lined that and she put that piece that comes in and out. How cute. There you guys have it. Absolutely gorgeous.
plenty of space to journal and have fun. And I am absolutely excited to get right into it. Check out her shop, guys. I'm glad you took the time to watch this video again. Support other fellow Etsy shops, which is an amazing thing to do for those who are starting out and just want to build their shop. And um, she's one of those people who are who deserves it. So we're not over there, guys. Thank you so much again. Thank you, Madeline, for a journal that's going to be perfect for my uh, next trip. You guys have a blessed one. Bye.